Hey, what is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. If you're using Office 365, it's safe to assume that all your emails are backed up in the cloud. But there is an additional way of backing up Outlook data, and that's by using Outlook data files or PST files. So you can have one backup in the cloud and then one offline backup because backup redundancy is never a bad thing. In this video, I'll show you specifically how to back up your emails to a PST file and then store that PST file on a USB drive. But note, this PST file can also be stored on your computer if you like. We'll start off by clicking on File in Outlook. Then click Open and Export. Now click Import Export. Select Export to File and click Next. Select Outlook data file, then click next. From here, you can select whether you'd like a specific folder backed up or your entire mailbox backed up. I want my entire mailbox backed up, so I'm going to ensure my email address is selected and include subfolders is checked. Then I'm going to click next. Now click browse and navigate to the path that you'd like to save your backup files to. I'm navigating to my USB drive and saving my Outlook backup file to a subfolder. Once you've finished naming your data file, click OK. Now click Finish. You'll be prompted to create a password for your data file. If you don't want a password, leave the two fields blank and hit OK. It will now start to back up your entire mailbox. Depending on the size of your mailbox, it could take a while, so be patient. After the backup is complete, you can see what Outlook backed up for you by adding the data file to Outlook, and it shows up as an additional mailbox. To do that, click New Items, click More Items, then click Outlook Data File. Navigate to the location where you saved the file, and double click on it. When you expand the data file, you notice it's an identical copy of your actual mailbox. To avoid any mix-ups, we can close the data file by right-clicking on it and selecting Close Data File. There you have it. You now know how to do an offline backup of your emails. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you found this helpful, please click the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking my logo at the bottom right of this video. Don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when I drop a new video.